Hello, welcome back to my channel and to my journey toward the best curls possible. Today I'm going to be trying the Miss Jessie's Jelly Soft Curls. This is a product line that I've wanted to try for a very long time, so I'm super excited to see how it works on my hair. As always, here's what my hair looks like before I do anything to it. If you look at my older, older videos, you'll see that my curl pattern used to be tighter, a little more volume, and now it's just, the curls are a lot looser, my hair gets dry and frizzy, and it's just so much different than it was. But I am trying to embrace it. I'm trying to love what it is right now, like these beachy, wavy, curly kind of things, <laughs> and just trying to make it look as good as it can and embrace it as I'm healing it. So I washed my hair yesterday and I used Kinky Curly Come Clean Clarifying Shampoo. And this is a curly girl friendly clarifying shampoo. You definitely need to be clarifying at least once a week to get that buildup and product off of your hair. And you can check out my Kinky Curly review video where I use all of the products and show you how they work and my results. For conditioner, I've been using this Karanique Nourishing Keratin Conditioner. I haven't been using it long enough to recommend it yet, but so far I'm really liking it. So we want to do this on soaking wet, detangled hair. I didn't wash my hair again, but I got it soaking wet and detangled with my fingers and this comb from bottom to top. And here we go with the jelly. Starting with about this much, my first impression is that it's very sticky. Definitely a lot stickier than the custards and other gels that I'm used to, but that could be a good thing, we'll see. And it smells pretty good. It's not like an amazing smell, but it's clean, fresh. So this is how I put product into my hair. I glide it over with my hands and then rake it through with my fingers, section by section. And then throughout the process, I'll scrunch to see how it's working in my hair, how my hair is springing up or not springing up. And yeah, I go through a lot of product and this is why as I try all of these new products, I'm hoping that I find some favorites that are under $20, hopefully under $10 ideally. Because if you have curly hair, I know you've spent a lot of money on hair products. You've probably bought the super expensive products and sometimes those products aren't even the best ones for our hair. So it's always so exciting to find something that's on the cheaper end, but that actually works. So I'm really scrunching a lot throughout this process. I really didn't used to have to scrunch my hair. I would just put the product in and it would curl right up. But now I really do have to scrunch in order to get the hair that I want all the way up to the root. And I've found that it really does help if your hair is soaking wet when you do this. You should be hearing this sound when you scrunch. So in addition to scrunching with my hands, I'm going to scrunch with a cotton t-shirt. You can do this with a t-shirt or a microfiber towel. Either one is perfect. And this helps to really scrunch out the moisture and freeze the curls in place, which is exactly what we want. And another trick that I learned from my hairstylist is to put a little bit of the product onto the t-shirt or the towel and scrunch with that. So kind of spread it out and keep scrunching with that a little bit and it helps to lock those curls in place. Also, also, in order for your hair to look good, no matter what you're doing to it, you need to have a good curly haircut. I just got a much needed curly cut and my hair looks so much better, so much healthier, so much fuller. I'd love to make a whole video on curly haircuts and like what to ask for, where to go, because coming from somebody who has had a million horrible experiences in hair salons, I would love to point you guys in the right direction because that can definitely make or break how you feel about your hair, how it looks, and its overall health. This time I got some curly bangs and I love them, but they are a little bit of extra work when styling, but they're so much fun so it's totally worth it. If you do have bangs or just want a little bit of extra volume in your roots, here's a trick. So you'll take a clip like this and kind of twist up the hair so that it's lifted off of your root and for bangs put your bangs exactly where you want them to land after they're dry and this is where they will freeze i only have a few clips right now i lost the other ones so i'm doing my bangs and then a piece of my root just to give it that extra lift that extra volume 
and now we are going to diffuse so i always diffuse my hair to dry it this is how i get the most volume so you want to diffuse like side to side upside down change direction so that you're not drying your hair all in one place this will give you a lot more volume and texture this takes forever but it's totally worth it you can see that it's starting to curl up a little bit but we're going to keep going until it's completely dry Okay, so now that I'm done diffusing, I'm going to give myself a scalp massage with my fingers. And this will lift the hair at the root and give it more volume. And it also helps stimulate hair growth. Some people do this with oil, but I feel like just rubbing it with your fingers kind of produces a little bit of oil, so I don't feel the need to add extra. Unless I'm about to take a shower and about to wash it, and then I'll use maybe castor oil or tea tree oil with coconut oil. And here are my results. I like it. I like what it did. I really do. It's like a mixture of curls and waves, which I don't really mind. I think it's kind of cute. It's not like shiny. It's a little more dull, but I don't really care about having shiny hair, so that doesn't really matter to me. My hair is definitely bouncy. It smells really good. It's soft. It doesn't feel like there's anything on my hair. It didn't leave a cast. It seemed like it would because it was such a sticky, thick jelly, but it didn't. And sometimes we want a cast. Sometimes we like to break apart a cast because it helps freeze the curls in place a little bit better, but I don't feel like I need it here. My hair is super soft and just, just nice, movable. So yeah, I'm not mad about it. I like how my hair looks. I'm liking how it's feeling, how it's moving. It's kind of like a messy, shaggy kind of vibe and I'm kind of digging it. This product is super easy to find, not too expensive, easy to buy. So I'll definitely keep using this. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions or need anything. I'm always here and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.